everyone, welcome back. I am Swati and you are watching Backyard Gardening. Today we'll talk about one of the gorgeous flowering creeper, Rangoon, which blooms profusely during summers and monsoon. We'll talk about how to grow this plant, its sunlight, water, fertilizer requirements, everything. Rangoon is known by many other names like Madhu Malti, Chinese Honeysuckle, Burma Creeper. This plant blooms profusely during summers and monsoon. This is one of the easiest to grow flowering plant. You can grow them in pots and containers as well. And if you have a garden space, grow them in garden, they'll grow rapidly and you can trail it to terrace. You can create a nice sitting area upstairs and they have highly fragrant flowers. Grow this plant in full sunlight only for flowering. If you'll grow them somewhere, it doesn't get at least four hours of sunlight also. This plant won't produce flowers. Yes, they will grow nicely, leaves will grow, foliage will grow, but this plant will not produce flowers. For flowers, you must grow them in full sunlight only, be it pot or in garden. Let me tell you an interesting fact about this. You might have seen multiple colors in the plant in terms of flowers, but the interesting thing is they change colors. That is when the flower blooms, it's in white color and by the evening it turns into light pink and the next day it becomes dark pink or magenta color. Let's talk about how to get more flowers in this plant. There are a few tips like prune this plant in early spring. Prune them nicely, then new branches will grow. New branches and more branches means more flowers. Also, feed them with rich manure, cattle manure or sarso khali mixed with water. You can uh, make liquid fertilizer out of it and feed them. Make sure you don't fertilize them with nitrogen rich fertilizers. Nitrogen promotes foliage only. If you'll feed this plant with something which is rich in nitrogen, then you'll see lots of new leaves will grow but no flowers will come. As I said earlier, they are highly fragrant flowers. So they attract honeybees, birds and other pollinators. Their flowers grow in horizontal orientation as and when the plant grows older, the next day it turns into drooping orientation. The plant loves to be watered on a regular basis. If you're growing them in pots or containers, make sure to water them every day. Also, this plant grows aggressively. So you can grow them from cuttings also very easily. All you need to do is take tender cutting, not the semi-hardwood cuttings as I always say for other plants. For this, you choose tender cutting and grow them in coco peat or in soil and they will grow really fast. I would also recommend growing any plant from cuttings during monsoon. If you want to know more about flowering creepers, I have another video in which I have shared five flowering creepers which bloom profusely during summers and monsoon. Do check out the video, link is there in the description box. So that's all for this gorgeous flowering creeper. If I missed any point, do let me know. I would love to answer that and I will see you soon with one more interesting video. Bye-bye.